And so, as Tiny Tim observed, God bless us. You know the story. You are here, my friends, to honor and to invite back into your hearts a story so known and loved, it has woven itself to the very fabric of our lives. And what illuminates today, as it did back then, the darkest slice of a midnight hour is no doubt what has brought you here before me now. When night outweighs the day and time's passages are steeped in cold, man yearns for that which invokes warmth and light and love. What we seek comes in many forms, be it a liberating truth, be it a restful solitude, be it some small instance in which the giving supersedes the taking. Indeed, good want places me here before you as well to introduce a small aside, a denouement, if you will, of something intended to shed light upon what I warrant not a few of you have at some point asked. What about poor old Jacob Marley? Let once more the whispering shivers and ghostly specters haunt us onto a better path. As we aspire to what is best in all of us, let us employ for a second time the dark to illustrate the light. There, look upon Jacob Marley, who, yes, indeed was, is dead, dead as a doornail.